in the areas that we traverse. Kim, um, none on the actual reserve, but outside the reserve, many. There are about four and a half million that live on the borders of the Kruger National Park. Uh, but none, no, no villages inside the park other than staff and uh, sort of conservation staff and tourism staff and, and that sort of thing and administration staff. But there are no actual sort of permanent settlements, if you like, within the Kruger National Park. Very, they look a bit morose and forlorn, I must say. But you know, they're maintaining condition quite well. Buffalo will start to lose condition towards the end of the dry season. And I mean, some of them are start. you can see their hips already. And so you'll be able to pick up when they start to lose their uh, condition badly, you'll be able to pick it up immediately. They are, they are starting to look a little bit ropey at this stage. And you can tell that from the back hips sticking out. That chap looking at you on the right hand side of your screen is going to have a very impressive set of horns one day. They're very large for a fellow of his size. And some of them are stopping to look at us. Others have made it down to the water. Let me just flick round. It's going to reverse slightly. Try not to freak them buffaloes out. And then we can see them going down to have a drink. I'm very glad I don't have to drink this water. The elephants will almost certainly reject this water out of hand because it's full of catfish, catfish dung, catfish detritus, buffalo dung. Ah, now Donald, very nice question from you about the catfish and whether or not the animals will start to take advantage of them. Yes, there will be a few, certainly, Donald, and uh, birds largely. I think you're going to find a big dissension eventually of marabou storks are going to come into this area, possibly some fish eagles, and I think also once it gets really dry, hyenas will go in there and take them out. You might even find uh, young leopards who are really hungry going in there and taking the odd catfish out. Very peaceful, but for the angle grinder. <laughs> yeah, well, so it goes. All right, everyone, I think we're going to leave these beefies to go down to the water and have a drink.